Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So, in my last video I done a Q&A section and someone asked when I was going to get out my custom made MTB hopper. Well, today is the day. I thought it was such a good idea. I've only ridden this thing once and I was so lucky that MTB hopper reached out and said, Cara, we can do you a pink ramp, we've got your name on it. So I thought, let's get out, get it out today and ride it again. So we're at Dunmo Skate Park, we're going to do a few sends here with the ramp. I'm going to build it right now and get straight into the session. How sick is that? I'm actually such a sucker for anything personalised, so this is literally my dream. <laughs> There we go then, the ramp is all built and it actually looks so sick. It's so flat but that's perfect here because I've got the jump bike and I haven't ridden a jump bike in such a long time and it's super like, I don't know, not forgiving whereas the e-bike is planted. I've actually got Tom's jump bike here and the reason for that which you'll see very soon is because something special is happening to my jump bike. That's all I'm saying. Right, let's put this in position then. That's huge, that jump, KJ. No, it's not. Are you scared? No. It's, it's massive. No, it isn't. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> is it? <laughs> I don't think it is. I think that's all right. It's a little plop off, isn't it? That'll be all right, won't it? Yeah. Balance speed. Is that, is that it? Is that going to go fast? Alright. Oh, as long as you go fast enough to go after it. Oh. Yeah, Whose but... idea was this? It's actually terrifying. I'm not a, I, d I don't really like skate parks that much. I like my e-bike. <laughs> this feels really wobbly. But I guess we've just got to do it. We've got to send the personal ramp. It's even got my name on it, so it's basically made for me. Well, it is made for me, isn't it? A bit slow. I know, I've braked, I got a bit scared. Because my worst fear was jumping it too far and then landing. I suppose it wouldn't be so bad to land in that little bit down there, would it, like the V? It would be heavy. Yeah, this is what I mean. I'll go a bit quicker now. You always got to get the nervous one out of the way. And it's quite windy as well, so it's putting me off quite a bit. But let's go a bit quicker. Now I've got that out of the way, it's fine. That was quite a good effort there by Cara, but what she's done is because she's scared, she's set the gap up so small that she actually can't go quick enough, like she's going so slow that she's not going up the ramp properly. So that actually needs to go back like that. And that probably looks massive, but what she'll be able to do is actually ride at the ramp at normal speed and fill the ramp properly, whereas she's kind of plopping off the end at the moment. Right, that was okay, just case it still. I need to go quicker, so let's get more speed. She cased that again, just a tiny bit, but I've called her a line, so she's got to do the jump, carve the quarter pipe like a berm, and then air out the flat bank. So it's quite a simple line, but if you're not a skate parker, then it could be difficult, or challenging, or make you use your brain a bit. Yeah, hop into it. Yoo oh, yeah. I'm so happy that I cleared that. It's actually terrifying. No matter what kind of ramp you put there, if it's the smallest wedge in the world, it'd still be scary for some reason. But I'm stoked on that. I think what we should do now is put the ramp in the van and I want to go and hit like, there's a little step up where I can practice doing stuff. So let's go there. Look at this, it's got wheels. We're at the next location now and I've changed it up and I'm using my e-bike. A number of reasons. I feel more comfortable on it to jump and also it is literally gale force winds today. It's blowing a, a hoolie. Um, so it will be more stable and because of the weight, it's not gonna get like too wavy in the air. Anyway, let's set this up over here. 
Right, set up here then. So it's a bit of a step up. So it's like a flat bank really, I guess. Got my e-bike and we're gonna hit it. So let's get it. I'm gonna do a bit of a line actually. So I'm gonna hit the ramp and then there's a stair set of doom behind Tom. So we'll do that. Stairs, stairs. Oh yes! <laughs> that is so insane. I just love how safe it is. Like the, the ramp's really flat, but because it's propped up onto a bank, it just makes it feel really nice, especially on the bigger bike. And I think I could do a one-hander on it. So we're gonna feel it out and then gradually get bigger. This is actually a dangerous maneuver in this wind, but it's good because it shows like learning how to do stuff in all conditions because when you ride it's not always going to be perfect so let's get it that was sick that was actually it was quite small but the problem is i don't get much air time and there's no time in the air it's so fast but that's actually really good because if I can practice doing it in like that short amount of time where things are a bit more rushed, then when you've got a bigger jump and more air time, you've got more time to do big extension and it just slows everything down so it therefore becomes like a lot more easier. I think we should just, whilst we're here, turn the ramp around because you can also use this as a bit of a step down. So let's do that. Right, let's take my ramp. I actually love it, the fact that it's got my name on it so much, it's sick. We're gonna put it over there because the, the run up's a little bit nicer and the bank is a tiny bit steeper as well. So the, the landing's gonna be a bit nicer. Oh, I can't turn it, it's so windy. That's actually quite a gap. Here we go. We're gonna hit this and then Tom's just said, oh, you should do a long jump challenge because it's kind of safe if you case it. So I guess that's what we'll be doing. So let's hit it first. Yeah, that was so sick. Do you know what? Like, it's crazy to me, having obviously ridden this ramp on the jump bike and now riding it on the e-bike, I just feel so much more confident hitting stuff on the e-bike. It's just so nice to jump. We'll, we'll pull it back now, I think. Let's do that. Yeah, there you go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my God, you've gone massive. Okay, that'll do. Can you clear that? Yeah. Oh. Right, that was a case. I think. It's the pedal in it. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go quicker. literally all I can ha like give it I'm pedaling so hard my legs ache so bad because I did gym class last night so that's my excuse I'm trying to get stronger so I can do bigger jumps and stuff but I've got this serious case of achy legs today so that's still pretty good though like it is quite a big gap still and I only cased it a little bit that time but yeah I'm stoked on that right I think I'm gonna call this video here today and the reason for that is we're now off to the compound to put in well the rolling basically and start the build series over on Tom's channel and I think at the minute like these videos are going to be a little bit shorter just so that we've got the time to build over there because once we've built it it's going to be sick we're going to have some epic videos I'm going to be building some stuff as well to practice on the backflip hopefully will happen this year who knows but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm absolutely stoked to get my personalized MTV Hopper ramp out again. And thank you to, you know who you are, who messaged me that question on Instagram and reminded me that I've got this epic ramp. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, put your comments down below and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.
Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way